Hello. Ooh, Michael. Hey. I have something special I would love to show you. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. So this is for you both, my king oh. and queen. I'm putting it on. <laughs> Perfect. I'm modeling it over <laughs> my bun. Yes, you're doing great. How are things in Las Vegas? People are trying to be as safe as possible. The strip does not look like the strip you both might know. <laughs> and what do you do in Las Vegas? So I'm a special events manager. I know for you to, to be an event planner means that you get done. So for you to not be able to sort of make that first date happen is crazy. Mm -hmm. It was odd because when we first met, he messages me from a number that I did not recognize at all. So you just randomly get a text message? Yes. Someone had my phone number. If someone was looking up an event coordinator in Las Vegas, would they find your website and would it have your phone number on it? For sure. So my number has been listed publicly. So initially getting that message, I was like, I'm not too sure who you are. And he was like, we talked a while back and I was going through my phone and I came across your number and I remembered how cute you were. So for me, I'm thinking, okay, well, he remembers what I look like. You mean because you are cute. So for him to say, what? <laughs> you're so cute, you're like, oh, he must you're know like, what oh, I look like. He's talking about me. He's talking about me. Maybe he's got the right Michael. <laughs> so the first text message you got, this was back in 2017. Correct. I'm single, and at that point, Dustin messages me the photos of him. You said he was fine. He is, he is. And he was pretty charming. He also told me he was a lawyer in Los Angeles. It's professional, seems like he has his own, and he wants a family. So we bonded over that. I felt the conversation was just so easy, and he spoke to me about how his ex cheated on him in their own home. And so we kind of bonded over that as well because I've been in relationships in the past where I personally as well was cheated on. And so things like that we bonded over. Like there was just so many things I felt were compatible. Great person, funny, good looking, all these things. Things that I'm looking for in a life partner. I didn't get any red flags based off of what he was saying to me. So what was the first red flag? <sighs> so the first red flag for me, I was in Los Angeles. Dustin decided that he would like to go on a date. He wanted to meet up. He says, my roommate is out for the night. So I wanted to know if maybe you wanted to come over to my house. Here's my address. When he gave me the address, there wasn't an apartment number listed. It was just, here's the address. I then said to him, let me know when you're ready. No response. And then I messaged him again. What's going on? No response. After like two hours, I just was like, I'm good. Early the next afternoon, he responds back. And he says that he was in the shower. And when he got out of the shower, he dropped his phone. And like his phone had broken and he wasn't able to respond. He was like, I thought you were gonna come over. I don't know what happened. And I'm thinking, how was I gonna come over when you weren't responding? And I don't know your apartment. Like throw pebbles at every window. Right. Because of everything else prior, and I felt that he had been genuine, I let that go. But after this incident, he would communicate with me from other phone numbers. Michael. Here's the thing. I would go back to that initial number of messaging him, and then he would respond on that too. Hmm. I'm thinking if he's a lawyer and if he does business, maybe he has work phones. Obviously this is all via text message initially. How, if, if in any way, did the relationship evolve? I've only ever texted with Dustin. In three years? I know. Or... Uh, I know I should know better. Well, yes. Give it to me. <laughs> I deserve it. <laughs> I have to take responsibility. When I did attempt to push for a video chat or getting on a phone, he wouldn't respond. Like, it was just always something odd. Do you even know his last name? The last name that he gave me was Shaker. So where are you guys at now? You say you've ghosted him? Yeah, but recently he reaches out again. See if we can rekindle and restart. Uh... And it's a new number. In your email to us, you said is he a stalker. This has been years of you continuously reaching out after I've stopped responding to you, you're hitting me up from different numbers. That's why I say stalker, because this is a little crazy. Right. He then told me he was going to Hawaii because he needed to get out of LA. That's where he's supposed to be at right now. But I did some more sleuthing. When we first had spoken years ago, he told me he did not have social media, but I did reverse Google image search. That a boy. Finally. 
I found him on Instagram with his name spelt instead of D-U-S-T-I-N. It was like D-U the number 10. His profile is private, but he says he's the father to three cats. Each of the cats have an Instagram page. All right, hold on, it's hold on. Not... I'm going to bring it up. I found it. That's him. Oh, this is him. That's okay. Him. Very cute. He owns all of these cats. These are his cats. Are you, whoa, wait. These are like famous cat accounts. What? They have hundreds of thousands of followers. This cat is cute. Very cute cat. Cute cat. Oh, wait, here, look. That's him. Is he tagged? Yes. Yeah. Can we go to Winona the cat? This is crazy. Scrolling below. This one, is that? That's a different gentleman who's in many other photos. If you click on that gentleman's name, third photo. Wait a minute. Wait a second. <gasps> so they're married. They are married. Dustin is fully wed. Dustin is married. And this was like this year. This year. Whoa. And I found this after I reached out to you. <gasps> I'm gagged. I'm embarrassed to even think about the fact that I've been involving myself with an engaged or married person. Did you confront him? I added him and I'm waiting to see if he actually accepts him as a friend. <laughs> so at this point, if you have been lying, you now will see that you know, I am on right. it. This is just way too much at this point. I'm tired of waiting. Why would you reach out to me to say, oh, I'm going to Hawaii. He's on his honeymoon. On my honeymoon. Yeah, so like, <gasps> this is just so much. We could message the page you found and ask him. Will that even confirm it? Because if the real Destin is the guy in the profiles and he's potentially cheating, is he gonna be like, yep, that was me, caught red-handed, or is he gonna lie about it? Whew. If your two options are that it is Dustin, he's just been hiding his relationship and now husband from you, or it's someone else who actually might be single, which would you rather it be? I think that I would- You wanted to be him. I wanted to be Dustin. Right. I thought that he was really trying to develop something serious with me. You know, hopefully being married, having a little family one day just thought there was possibly an option of exploring that. Yeah. But at this point, I have questions and I, I want answers. Let us let us see what we can find out. Okay, thank you both. I appreciate it and hope to talk with you again soon. Later. Bye. What do you think? Uh, I think we're in some <laughs> Michael has feelings for Dustin. It's not good to find out any information, let alone the fact that this person is married and probably on a romantic vacation. Oof. Either way, this does not end positively, period. There's no way that this is going to end well for both parties. Somebody's getting We've never had two hopeless hookups. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on.